Raul Ranier, aka Mac, and welcome. So if you're new to Star Citizen, there's a lot to take in. The game is very, very complicated, especially for newbies. So think of this new series of videos that I'm starting as a small sort of starter guide series. They're going to be less than five minutes each, designed to help you get to grips with the game as quick as possible. Each video will take you through the steps of getting into a ship, starting her up, travelling around and completing missions and earning that well-earned United Earth credits. Every time a new feature is released, I'll walk you through it and help you to understand it a little more. Uh, this series is obviously suited more to new players. However, even if you're a veteran, you may still learn something previously unknown. Now, do remember that Star Citizen 3.0 is currently an alpha game, so there will be bugs. Plus, many systems are either not complete, not functioning as they should, or not even present. But with that said, let's get on with it. So in episode one, we're going to take a look at requesting a ship. Let's assume that you've made it to the ship request room, the big room with all the panels. Approach the panel, hold down the F key and just left click on the screen. Now what will happen is your view will be sucked into the panel on the screen. You can align yourself better if your view is not straight on. I suggest that so you can read things better, get a better perspective. From here though, you're presented with a list of ships. Now you may only have just a single ship like an Aurora, or you may have a few to choose from. The columns that you can see present you with a list of information to help you better decide what ship you will need. The first column is the name of the ship. So this is obviously the ship, the Aurora LX, the Avenger, the Hornet, so on and so forth, depending on the ships that you own or have access to. The second is the info panel. So this is the status of the ship, whether it's stored, destroyed, that sort of thing. I'm sure we'll get more options later down the line. Third is the location. So is it stored at Olisar? Is it stored at Grim Hex or Levski or even on Daymar? If the ship is somewhere that you are not, you cannot claim it. You will have to travel to that location to get it. Fourth is status. Now, I've only seen this applied to once you filed a claim for insurance. This will tell you the time until it's available to retrieve. The fifth column is the focus. So this is kind of a ship type, a very important column. It tells you uh, whether it's a freighter, a dogfighter, a racing ship. Very useful if you have an idea of the type of mission you want to take part in. Obviously, if you're planning to mine... You have to use a mining ship, you cannot just use an Aurora for the moment, so this will help you decide what ship to choose. The sixth column is the cargo amount, so I think this will be an SCU eventually. If you're taking on delivery missions, it's very good to know how much you can carry to ensure that you have enough space. Seventh column, second to last, is the crew amount. Now this is how much crew is recommended, not to get it in the air and not how many you can fit inside it. Currently it only says one so far, but this will change eventually. And the final column is actions. So you, you can either request it, you can track it, or you can file a claim. Now if you hit request, wait a few seconds and your screen will let you know what landing pad you need to head to. Simply just press the S button to walk backwards and leave the screen. And using your HUD, locate where the ship may be. Or even using the signs of the station if it's CO7. Check the struts and check the number of the landing pad. And head off, go and get your ship and have some fun. Currently tracking a ship doesn't work, but I assume its intention is to just get the current location of your ship so you can go and retrieve it should you have left it, say on Daymar, for example. Now all this information is needed to help you make the right choice of ship, know the situation with your ships and request whichever ship that you require. As more missions, jobs and more ships make it into the game, making the right choice will take a little longer to ensure that you have what you need for the job at hand. Anyway, let me know what you think of these kind of videos. I've got a whole host of them coming up and then we'll keep adding as new things come out. Next up will be how to interact with your ship, so basically switching her on, getting her airborne, turning on the systems and so forth. Please hit that thumbs up if you like this video and hit the subscribe button, really helps me out. Be sure to follow me on Twitch, Twitter and Instagram. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you next time.